Hey guys, my name is Fun Pearl. In this video, I want to talk about bruiser itemization. Specifically, I want to talk about Death's Dance versus Steric's Gage. Two pretty popular items, but the question is what is better and when? Well, in this video, I'll help you answer this question by analyzing the stats on the items, as well as use math to help you decide what item is better and when. So let's get right into it. Death's Dance gives 55 AD, 15 ability haste, and 45 armor. It's passive, ignore pain, can store 30% for melee and 10% for range of all post mitigation damage, and take it as true damage over 3 seconds. Its other passive is Defy, where if an enemy champion dies within 3 seconds of you damaging them, it will remove the remaining Ignore Pain passive stored damage and heal you for 120% of your bonus AD over 3 seconds. Meanwhile, with Sterex, the item gives 400 HP and has the passive The Claws That Catch, where 45% of your base AD is converted to bonus AD. The other passive is the Lifeline passive, where if you would take damage that would drop you below 30% of your max HP, you would get a shield that's equal to 75% of your bonus health. Then a case over 3.75 seconds. So let's compare the two items. Let's start by providing base knowledge. The damage that shields take have already been mitigated by the resistances of this champion. This is why it's called post-mitigation damage, the damage after resistance calculations. So let's start by solely reviewing the base stats. So let's compare the resistances. To do this, I'll be evaluating the effective HP from both items. In order to calculate effective HP, you need to use this formula. You would take the ratio you would get with the resistance value and then add one. You would then take the sum and multiply with a nominal HP value, which is the HP value of a champ currently with the items and other factors. So let's apply it. I'll be using a level 11 Darius with Trinity Force either Death Stance or Sterix to test the resistance value. If you want to try this on the champions that you play, you can adapt their armor and HP values into this equation. So for Darius, when we plug in all the values, we can get that he has 4,483.18 effective HP for absorbing physical damage. Now let's look at Sterix gauge. When we probably plug in all the values here, we get that the effective HP value is 4,343.14 HP to physical damage. In addition, it can also be used for MR as well as giving Darius 3,528.29 effective HP for magic damage. So as you can see, Death Stance provides a higher effective HP value for physical damage, but Steris can also mitigate some magic damage. Remember, this is purely based on base stats. We will go over the passive soon where Death Stance considers magic post mitigation damage. Now let's do a base stat damage comparison. Death Stance gives 55 flat AD, Sterix gives 45% base AD as bonus AD, so in order to determine what AD value will Sterix do more damage than Death's Dance, we will set an equality. The equality is seen here. So it would take a champion to have a base AD of 122.2 for Sterix to provide more AD than Death's Dance. Many champions will be able to get that value at a certain level. For example, Jax will get his base AD up to that point at around level 15, for Darius he would be able to get that much AD out of Sterix purely from base AD at around level 14. But here's another factor to consider. There are items that can increase base AD like Trinity Force. These are just some factors to consider, but remember this is just the base stat comparison. Now let's add the passive. So Sterix can give you a shield that can act as extra HP to absorb damage, but the shield decays over 3.75 seconds. That stance can take a percentage of the post mitigation damage and take that damage true damage over 3 seconds. So in order to compare the two passive, let's use equations to model the total damage that the Darius in this case uh, is actually taking after all the reductions are applied. In order to fairly compare the two items, I'll be using 3 seconds worth of damage using the assumption that the same amount of damage is being taken every second. So for Sterix on Darius level and we'll go with this equation. It considers the shield that you'll get from Sterix as well as the armor that Darius has from base stats. Now here's the equation for Death's Dance. With Death's Dance we need to consider base armor and Darius, the armor from the item as well as the reduction from the passive. This equation does all of that. So when we compare the two equations we get that Death's Dance will block more damage when the damage that you take is greater than 1648.76 physical damage. Since Death's Dance can also mitigate magic damage we can compare the two to magic damage. Sterics would always block more magic damage, but the question would be that if you're worried about magic damage and one lifeline item, maybe getting Maw might be a good consideration, but again, you gotta consider the other factors in your game. There's also the Defy passive that will heal you after if the enemy champion dies within 3 seconds. So, what item is better? Just looking at the stats, it definitely seems to favor Death's Dance. In most cases, Death's Dance will be the better item compared to Sterix. It'll provide more defenses towards you and at times give you more AD. However, there are some times when Sterix can be better than Death's Dance, and in order to determine what item is better on the champion that you play, you can plug in the values that you want into the equations that I've used. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to check out my Discord server to talk about League or future video ideas. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. Also, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.